Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to discuss about a company that I added uh, to my portfolio today, uh, Hindalco, Hindalco, Hindalco Industries Limited. So this company is a quite old company and uh, is quite uh, well established and uh, have good business in aluminum and copper uh, sector, the manufacturers. The company is also uh, subsidiary companies in Kadnada, Navalis. Uh, it has acquired company in USA, and uh, in 2007, uh, it's a big, biggest acquisition uh, in any by any Indian company in USA. And uh, the company has uh, constantly shown good good results. In the sales has, has also increased. Uh, let's say. Uh, to, 20,000 crore, 20, 30,000 crore to 40,000 crore, around 30%. The sales has increased uh, in, in a year. Uh, in one quarter, uh, the company has uh, some the negative results, a negative profit, and as uh, the profit has also increased, uh, and uh, the net profit has increased to. 2000 crore uh, from 600 crore uh, a year ago, around three times the profit has also increased. And the company uh, is a subsidiary company of, of uh, Aditya Birla Group. Aditya Birla Group is the parent company of this, uh, of this one. Uh, and uh, the share holding pattern is a little bit concerning, around 34% uh, Aditya Villa group, group is the promoter one, promoters are holding. FIA and DIA uh, has uh, quite good holding, uh, around 40%, 20-20% they are holding, uh, which is a good sign if any foreign institutional, institutional investor or any domestic institutional investor, mutual fund, they are uh, liking a company means the company has some good potential, uh, so they have a good holding in this company. And uh, this company uh, is also has also declared the dividend, uh, which is uh, an important point for short-term investors like us. So we wish that the share price is going to increase at least certain 15, 20% within a short span of time so that we can sell before the exit date. The exit date for the dividend is uh, 12th August, three rupees per share, the company is uh, going to pay the dividend. And uh, as you know that, uh, uh, that uh, Hindalco uh, has uh, uh, means, uh, businesses, in aluminum and copper along with that it is international business so uh, we wish uh, stability in the company and uh, exactly when the market is volatile like yesterday it was like three sessions the market was down and today it's up so when the type of volatile uh, situations are there generally uh, the uh, large cap and the strong companies they gain uh, gain and uh, you see the response in hindustan unilever last two days it's uh, gaining. So this happens uh, when uh, uh, market is quite volatile, people believe or trust uh, are more on uh, stable companies. So the stocks price of stable company generally increases rather than the small cap. So, uh, uh, and, and the price also you will see that uh, uh, the 52 weeks low and 52 hikes, uh, 52, um, weeks high, this company uh, Hindalco is around two times, more than two times it has increased because it will say that today it's trading around 400 rupees, 397, 400 rupees. And a year ago, it was trading around uh, 160 rupees like that. So more than uh, double return it has given to the investors. So if you're planning for long-term investment also, it will not have a problem. So, if I want to get, get the uh, short term gain, then of course I'll hold it for uh, longer duration till I achieve my target. And I hope uh, it will give soon the at least 20, 30% return. 
So let's hope uh, it will do well. And what was your pick uh, for the uh, for today? And what you added to your share uh, to your portfolio, or did you even sell anything? When comment so that others can also uh, know that why you are choosing this share and uh, what are the thinking process so that uh, some others can get benefit out of it. Uh, anyway, so today is a positive day in the market. Uh, the Nifty and Sensex both are uh, up and people are believing that soon it will reach 16,000. So we are expecting that. And uh, uh, let's stop today here. See you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.